Hi and welcome back to Match Move for Production by VFX Tutors. I'm Josh and in this video we'll be continuing with the shot MM002. In part 2 we'll be importing our camera into Maya and getting it ready to be used. So now we've opened up Maya, our first thing that we need to do is import our camera. So if we go to the file, top left, and import. And if we navigate to our mail script that we exported out, if we click on it, click import it will create a scene group here in our outliner. So if we double click on this, we'll rename this to MM for match move. So we always know that this is our match move scene group. And if we click on the little cross and open up our group, we can see that we've got two cameras in here. We've got paving BGO1, which is our sequence camera. So we've got all these keyframes down here. And we've got this other camera here, which is our the camera, the reference camera that we solved our distortion for. We can delete that one because we do not need it anymore. And we can minimize that group. So now if we go to panels, perspective, and click on our camera here, we can now look through our camera and it's got our image plane on it. But if we scrub through our timeline, it's quite jerky and it's not very smooth. So what we need to do, we need to switch this out for our undistorted plate and set it up a little bit easier for us to use in Maya. So if we go to this little camera icon here, click on it, We'll select our camera. So now if we click one of the, this triangle here on the right and go to our image plane shape, and it should open up our image plane attributes. So now if we go to our alpha gain, we can change this to 0 0.7, so it makes our image sequence a little bit more opaque so we can see through it. And now we want to change our image sequence for our undistorted plane. So if we click on the folder and we navigate to where we exported out our undistorted plate. So it should be where you export out in this group. And you can see it's made a load of image files. So if we, you can click any one you want, but and just click open. Now if you select use image sequence, it will now read it all in as an image sequence. Now if you scroll all the way down to placement and change your depth to one, now if we scrub through our timeline, everything's much smoother. So if you're animating something coming across here, you're not going to have any problems with lag or anything, or you just wanted to play through it. It's playing through pretty nicely. So now our next step would be bring in our set geo. So if we go file, import, and go to our data package, go to set geo, go to set geo here, bring in our OBJ import that we can now see that we've got our set geo in there and if you wanted to you can apply the texture to it as well so what we'll do we'll just group that we'll call that set geo I group that with control G and if you middle mouse roll click and drag and drop it under mm we've now got it all under the match move group so now if we go to panels and perspective we can see we've got our work area where we can have something animating or if you have the floor being destroyed and we have our camera here. So our camera. And if you want, you can go to shading, wireframe or shade and you can see everything now. So we've now completed this shot. Um, this is 100% this is done. Um, yeah, uh, you can, if you're using it just for your match move reel, it's great because then you have everything already modeled and done for you. You can just do a wireframe. Or if you're planning to use it for more of a personal project, it's great because you'll have all the other data with it as well. So that's the end of this uh, tutorial for this shot. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button and subscribe for more like this.